My name is Winnie and I have a child who has been impacted by THC. Um, so I'm just gonna share a little bit about um, what happened to us and our family story. My son, who is now 21 years old, um, was always a really bright student, always has, did well in school, always very healthy. Um, in high school, he was in honors classes. He was on the track and cross country teams. He did volunteer work and he was in multiple different clubs. Um, he was just a great student and we were just happy as can be as parents, you know, with how he was doing. Um, the summer between his sophomore and his junior year, um, his older brother came to me and he said, hey mom, um, I found out that, you know, my brother's using marijuana. Um, and I was certainly not happy as a parent to hear this. I don't think, you know, I've never thought marijuana is healthy, um, but I wasn't particularly concerned. Um, I had smoked a little pot in high school and, you know, I just kind of thought of it as like a rite of passage or like a normal part of like trying things when you're a teenager. Um, so uh, life continued. Um, his junior year, you know, uh, go, starting into his junior year is when we started noticing some changes. Um, he, it started off with him being irritable um, and kind of withdrawing from family, withdrawing from friends. Um, and at first we thought these symptoms were just like normal part of teenager, you know, being a teenager, you know, maybe some mood swings. Um, but then as he, you know, as the year went on and going into his senior year of high school, you know, things got a little worse. And he also started having these really strange beliefs, um, ha having beliefs about the matrix and having, um, beliefs about energy and crystals and he would you know wear crystals and bring you know walk around with crystals to protect him um you know so we were starting to get concerned at that point but we weren't extremely concerned you know we just thought you know he's a little different a little eccentric um so he went off to college and I know that he continued using marijuana because he, he did share that with me that he was using marijuana, but I made no connection at the time between any of these you know, new mental health symptoms that were popping up and the marijuana use. Um, so through his freshman year and into the beginning of his sophomore year, his mental health just devolved um, to the point where he was calling me and having these um, you know, what I now know were like little mini psychotic episodes, um, just absolutely afraid, afraid to leave his dorm room, afraid of, you know, talking with other students, um, just totally debilitated to the point where we had to bring him home. He was eventually diagnosed with uh, schizophrenia. Um, and again, at this point, I did not make any connection between the marijuana and the mental health issue, although the doctors did tell us that he needs to stay away from marijuana. Um, so we were we had him in treatment. We were, you know, going through trying different medications. He was becoming more stable. We were keeping him away from the marijuana. Um, then uh, one day he got a hold of some money. His, his grandma in California wired him some money and he got a hold of um, a THC vape pen. Um, within an hour of using the THC vape pen, he went into a deep psychosis. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know what psychosis is, psychosis is basically a break from reality. Um, so mild psychosis can be you know, a little bit of paranoia, a little bit of like being out of it. But, um, you know, deep psychosis is just totally debilitating. You don't, you know, you can't function, you, you can't relate and you can't really communicate well with people, you know, the people who love you. It is, it is a parent's, you know, nightmare. Um, so, you know, like I said, within an hour of doing the vape pen, he was completely psychotic. Um, absolutely afraid that the devils were coming for his soul. Um, we did everything that we could to console him, um, but he ended up leaving the house and he 
tried to um, kill himself by jumping off of a bridge. And he wanted to kill himself because he believed that if he died before the devils got his soul, that he would go to heaven. And that if the devils were able to get him, then, you know, that he would be taken by the devils. My husband and I got a call at three o'clock in the morning um, by the police department. So, you know, um, a passerby had called 911. So we rushed to the hospital not knowing, you know, is he going to be alive? Is he going to be dead? Is he going to be, you know, like disabled or, you know, what had happened? None of it. He was in the hospital for two weeks recovering from his injuries. Uh, his entire face was smashed. They had to rebuild his face. He had to have his wire, his mouth wired shut for over a month. So to heal his uh, jaw from being broken and he's had multiple surgeries, um, you know, aside from the initial surgery, multiple surgeries to repair his eye and his teeth. I consider myself very lucky that my son is still alive because I know uh, I've come to know many other families who lost their children to situations like this. Um, so we are very grateful that he survived um, and that he had, you know, injuries that are able to be recovered from. He lives at home. He is sober off of marijuana. He attends uh, marijuana anonymous meetings. Um, he he has a job. He attends college part time. He's doing really well. Um, it's you know it hasn't been an easy road. It hasn't been a straight line, but um, he's doing much better now. I want all parents to know and understand that the. Marijuana and marijuana products that are being sold today are not the marijuana that we knew when we were growing up. It is 10 times plus more potent. It is dangerous. Um, and the, um, the market right now is just kind of like the wild west. So when you go, when, you know, when you go or your child goes to purchase something, it's not safe, basically. Um, the regulations are just not there yet. Legalization came so quickly and, um, you know, just it's not safe. And young people should not be using marijuana, especially the marijuana that's out there today.